this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Bahamut Lagoon! Both literally and figuratively, since I suppose we are kind of at Bahamut Lagoon to wake up Bahamut himself. But to do that, we've got to deal with all these guys. Fortunately, they're all bunched up right next to each other. So, let's see if I am not mistaken here. Yes! We can hit all of them at once. Soften them up all at once. <laughs> Getting the right position there. Now, the enemies up top there, the psychic dolls, uh, they can heal uh, enemies there. They are rank C, but they also have a unique quick spell. Or quicken, I forget which one it's called. But it works just like Final Fantasy Tactics. They cast it on someone, and they can get their turn again immediately in the current round. So I want to deal with them first before dealing with the rabbits. And besides, all they can do is probably turn you into a rabbit. And I've got quite a bit of status protection at this point. Not full status protection. I'll never quite get that much. But enough to where I don't need to worry about an entire squad doing that. But, uh, okay, yeah, let's, uh, yeah, let our dragons help out as well here. Or you could just waste your time with a physical attack instead of wiping them out with a spell. Why not? Okay, well, oh, there we go. Well, that doesn't work on dragons, I'm afraid. But, uh, well, fortunately we got, uh, what is it, Donphin back to normal. But, uh, okay, so... Yeah, now I... Well, the only party members I've got who can get in the back fast enough are my light armor squads. So let's just keep on going like this. And, yeah, just finish off whoever you want. It doesn't matter, especially. But, yeah, I find Quick to be much more dangerous to have to deal with than uh, being turned into a rabbit there. Now, by the way, those shrine rabbits are all rank B as well. Although, I, by this point, I don't especially care. But, uh, hey, a Sigrun, all right. And if my dragons kill enemies on the field, I'm not as concerned about it as before. I would prefer that they would kill them in direct combat. But, you know, I'll take whatever I can get. Okay, you can start chipping away at the boss there, why not? That can really hurt that character. So, yeah, you want to be careful with who you send into direct combat with the boss there, Griffon, who I would also, or who is a rank A enemy, so I would also like to get a piece of equipment from them. But, uh, okay, yeah, let's just keep going here with this. And, yeah, we can take those guys out easily enough there. But it doesn't especially matter what element I use to kill these guys. I don't really need to worry about money for the remainder of the game. Once I max out my stats for Puppy there, I'll uh, I'll start buying like some high drugs or royal drugs because I can use some of them, so I don't have to waste the turns healing up. And the battles are going to start getting a bit more difficult at this point. Not obscenely difficult. No, no, we're not talking crazy. But difficult compared to where we were before. Okay, both of you guys can go after the boss. Why not? Well, hopefully the other dragons will do something useful, like taking out more of those dolls there. Wouldn't be the first time that I've fought dolls in my LPs. I've done that very many times. And had many of them in my own party. Same thing for newborn dragons. But, uh, okay, so, yeah, we can't really do a whole lot here, so, yeah, let's just... Wait, hold on. Did I... Okay, good, good. Set you to go wherever you can on the field. Take, what, take out whatever you want. So, I want the non minor armor squads to converge in the middle to deal with the boss, while my light armor squads are taking out the psychic dolls in the back there. Of course, if my dragons would actually use their spells, that would be a whole lot better. But no! 
Okay, you guys can give me neutral drops and why not? Oh yeah, speaking of neutral, that is something I uh, found out just like half an hour ago, actually. Uh, the Hyperion Summon says it's neutral or non-elemental there. That is a lie. It is actually dark elemental, judging by the drops that I get from summoning it. So yeah, let's go with that there. So yeah, I mean, you could use that to get some dark elemental drops if you really want. I wonder if that's like a typo or if that's like what it said originally. Like in Japanese, that is. I mean, given that. or given the plot significance of Hyperion being considerably angrier than. and devastating to. compared to the previous dragons. I'm inclined to believe it's supposed to be Dark Elemental, although you do only get the double experience multiplier, unlike almost every other Dark Tech, except I think, what was that one? Uh, dark Dust there. But that's okay. But uh, yeah, we definitely want to buff up Taicho Squad here, let Molten do whatever they can. So yeah, all the summons that we've got so far only have double experience multipliers. But yeah, by this point, there's really not that many Dark Elemental items that I really care about. I've gotten most, if not all, of the ones that I care about. This time, though, we're going to go to Fire Elemental damage on the boss there, because I want to win another Prince Eugen Rapier for on my Light Armors. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, hopefully the rabbits will focus on my dragons. Because, well, you can't turn them into rabbits there. Maybe turn, maybe make a puppy, but not a rabbit. That doesn't work that way. The boss does have quite a bit of HP, so... Yeah, it'll take a little while to take that guy down. But otherwise, this is a relatively short battle, really. Ha ha! Now well, that's not going to work too well for you. Now well, that didn't go as planned, did it? <laughs> wow, you got quite a bit of range on that. Wow, that has a range of six, I think? Or maybe, well, whatever. Yeah, that does have a range of six. That's pretty, uh, I never noticed that before. That's a lot for this game. Usually most spells only have a range of five or so. Although, there was that one boss earlier that had like a range of ten or something. But, uh, yeah, fortunately the Psychic Dows will probably focus on healing instead of using Quick and on the boss there. And then we can deal with... Well, yeah, yeah then we'll deal with the boss. Ah, oh, man, that's a lot of healing. Okay, fine, we'll kill you soon enough. I could get Melodia's squad in direct combat with the boss, but they would kill you. So, I don't want to do that. Let's see, let's start here with taking out more of these psychic dolls. Usually I don't have so many of them left alive by this point in the battle. But that's okay, we can deal with them quickly enough as it is. Especially with three of them, we might as well use Fuse Squad to take them out. Or we could get an assist from Salmando with a terrible element. Hopefully that's not enough damage to kill them all. Nope, it was, barely. Oh well. Well, at least we got good money out of them. And porno mags. Okay, you can keep on going after the boss. Though, at this point, I want to be a little careful with my dragon usage here. Because I want Taicho to be able to get into direct combat with the boss. And there's only one tile left for him to be able to do that in this round. Without using the movement range glitch. Okay, if I go there, I think I can keep Twinhead out of... Well, actually, yeah, that's fine. I can keep Twinhead out of direct combat range with the boss. 
I was thinking about maybe sending Twinhead to go somewhere else, anywhere else, on the battlefield, really. But uh, I can't guarantee that Twinhead wouldn't try to attack the boss on the left side there. And if Twinhead kills enemies on the field, okay, fine. I mean, I prefer direct combat, but either ways work, will work. Of course, these drops won't work. Ugh. Well, at least all these dolls got plenty of money on them for some reason. Okay, well, at least you're hitting both of them at once. Though that'll almost certainly kill the rabbits there. Oh, goodbye! Well, at least we got some stuff that... Oh, wait, no, I'm thinking of uh, the other one, the strategy book. That sells for really good money, but uh, no, that wasn't the one there. Yeah, oh, that's okay. Alright, so... Let's deal with the dolls here. I want to stay out of direct combat range of the boss. And then... Actually, you know what? We're not going to be able to kill the boss this round anyway. So, why don't you just do this now? And then we can have everyone else help out. Or... Yeah, use your dragons to do whatever we need. But yeah, we're not going to deal enough damage to kill this guy. So we might as well just go all out with our strongest techs there. Same thing for the dragon there. Why not? Physical attacks do deal more damage to a single target than most of their spells. But, I mean, I suppose only your dark techs would probably have dealt more damage. Weird looking griffin there, it's more like a centaur to me. Ow! Yeah, and that was with the heavy armor passive ability there. That cuts all damage in half there. So, yeah. <laughs> Holy cow! That was a lot of damage there. Uh, finally, you decide to actually use a spell. I was about to have Yo Yo Squad take them out. But, uh, okay, so... Let me see if I can show off Hyperion here. Let's see, what do we what do we got left? I'm thinking if I want to manually heal Taicho's squad, because they took such a big hit there. I'll leave things well enough alone for now. I'll see if I can get a dragon to help out. But if not, then... I'll have Sendek heal them up. But, yeah, let's go with... Hyperion, why not? See what we can do there. And yeah, use holy, not dark elemental text there, but uh, yeah. oh well. We'll see Hyperion eventually, but probably not today. Hey, hey all right. Well, those things sell pretty good. Really, anything at rank B sells good. I mean, dark. Elemental items sell even better, but anything else is still okay. It's not like rank C, where like earth and poison are just completely terrible compared to the other elements. But uh, hey, strategy books, those are the ones that sell for really, really good money. Okay, so how's the boss doing there? Okay, yeah, still above. 10,000 HP. I'm gonna try and keep my distance here, though. Yeah, let my dragons do whatever they want there. I wouldn't want my wizards to go into direct combat with the boss, even if I already had them within lethal damage range. Just because the spell animations take forever <laughs> compared to physical attacks. So we'll just let our dragons yeah, take care of business there. Maybe I'll get... Uh, what was that? Uh, pick a box squad to help whittle this guy down to size and let Taicho deal with them. Okay, I'm thinking about how much I really need to heal Gunso. I don't think I really do. But let's leave Molten on weight there anyway. 
so while they won't attack, sure, maybe they'll heal up, though. I don't think we're at critical HP. No, nope, you're not gonna bother healing. Of course not. But, uh, okay, you can uselessly attack Salmando some more. Why not? Ha uh ha. -huh. Man, the enemies still can't hit me? I mean, I know I got max dexterity and all. But, uh, okay, so... Let's see. Okay, let's get Salmando out of there. And you know what? Let's buff up you squad while we're at it and hold on let's yeah I don't want you to take up that spot right next to the boss there I want for you to get in there you can deal decent single targeting damage but I think I want to leave big back back a little bit there just because I don't know the boss might be just barely over 10,000 HP and that would be a problem. Big Bat Squad might be able to finish them off. But, uh, okay, let's, uh, get in there then. Yeah, you're still way out of lethal damage range. For boss time! Against the Gryphon! Okay, so, yeah, you might remember this guy from the scene earlier with Salzer when he was talking to all those monsters with Hyperion and all that. So yeah, this, this Guardian was, was there too. You might also remember this area from the prologue of the game. But, uh, well, they weren't any monsters here at the time. And Bahamut didn't seem very interested in talking to us for some reason. Bingo 99! Ow! Goodbye! Well, that didn't go as planned. But, uh, okay, how are we doing there? Hmm. I'm thinking if I want to revive Lukia, because she won't get the bonus experience at the end of the battle if I don't revive her. So now I'm, yeah, I'm probably going to have to do that. But that's okay. Oh, no, I didn't want to go there. Lukia's not in my squad. But, uh, you can attack whoever you want, that's fine. Oh wait, no, not Pingo. Let's go... where are you? Return life, there you go. Yeah, let's get that going. Yeah, I didn't expect that to deal nearly that much damage, but we're not a light armor. So, I mean, we're not a heavy armor. But my dragons can take the hit pretty well. I would like to get the boss down to about 3,000 HP. Just to keep them out of lethal damage range for the dragons. But in lethal damage range of my heavy armors there. Okay, so I'm probably going to need a couple more hits from my dragon there. And yeah, we'll just leave that alone. Let's see, I think that'll get you down below 4,000 at least, after sitting through this overly long animation. Okay, so... Hmm... I think I'm just gonna go ahead with this as it is, but I do want to... use some spell for experience. But yeah, I don't need Mooney Mooney to soften up the boss anymore. So to get the Prince Eugen, Rapier, I need to defeat the boss with fire elemental damage, even though it's not a fire elemental weapon. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure how that works. But that's pretty much how it works with all with most of the rank A equipment. A lot of it just doesn't have an element, so they just arbitrarily gave it to one element or another. So it's kind of hard to figure that out if you don't know the elemental drop tables precisely, but I do! So we'll be okay. Oh yeah, we've got more than enough to deal Oh, thank you for killing me? Uh, oh, hey! Alright, first try! Nice. 
Even though it has a spear icon, it's a rapier. Trust me. So, I'll be giving that one to Miss. Yeah, it's about time my luck started coming back to me for the last several drops I've been trying to get. Most of the rank A equipment usually does. But, uh, all right. Well, hopefully we can wake up, Bahamut, at least. Hey, okay. how's it going? Oh, you're just going to call him a great dragon, not holy dragon? Maybe that's an inconsistent translation thing. I don't know. Yeah, your father. You know, the one who your boyfriend helped kill? No, you, you don't care? Okay. Maybe she just really doesn't like her father. I don't know. She might not. Yeah, what's the worst that could possibly happen? Oh, okay. Or that. Dude? Did it work? We brought the legendary dragon dung with us, if that'll convince you. Now? Ah, hey, there you are. Oh, I thought she was still just a summoner, not like a, a full-fledged dragnar. But whatever works. Um, yeah, we've been dealing with plenty of that throughout the whole game. Oh, just luck, I guess. Maybe they weren't interested. Well, that's what we've been trying to do the for the whole game, isn't it? Oh, we're back to story time, I guess. Right, we know about that part. Oh, okay. Well, what do you mean? You guys seem to be doing pretty good so far. It is your destiny. Well, yeah, I mean, what else would we do? Oh, okay, never mind then. So, you just want us to take you home, I guess, or something? And then what do you do? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, I guess we already opened it a little bit, but not quite all the way, I guess. But, sure, we can help you out with that. Why not? You okay? So, do we have all of them? Oh, okay. Why do we need to go there? Okay, yeah, yeah, we got it. We'll... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, Altair, that was the place they were talking about or something. Oh, well, I, I don't know if I'll have a lot of stuff to feed the dragons to prepare them, but, well, I'll see what I can do. But where are we going to open the door to a new era this time? Find out next time on Let's Play Bahamut Lagoon. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!